This video reviews a range of factorising into double or two brackets. Please do like and subscribe and also if you go to mathslearn.co.uk you'll see my videos starting to be compiled together into a logical order. Okay, so factorising into two brackets. Simple trick. We've got to find two numbers which times to make the end number and add to make the middle number. Now, the factors of 12, 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and the key ones are 3 times 4. Because 3 times 4 makes 12, and 3 plus 4 makes 7. This means that the factorised form in two brackets for this expression is x plus 3 and x plus 4. Because this expands to give that back as an answer. So, we're going to go through five more examples and then four extension questions all linked to the skill called factorising. So, the second one is x squared plus 9x plus 20. And I want two numbers at times to make 20 and add to make 9. So, factor pairs. The factor pair that works is 4 times 5. Because 4 times 5 is 20, and 4 plus 5 is 9. So, the answer is x plus 4 and x plus 5. The third one sometimes can cause a bit of confusion. Now, the factor pair of 6, or the obvious one, is 2 times 3. But that doesn't add to make 7. But don't forget that 1 times 6 also works, and 1 plus 6 is 7. So the numbers are 1 and 6, so the answer is x plus 1 and x plus 6. A quick point of order, you can have the practice either way around, so it could be x plus 1, x plus 6, or x plus 6, x plus 1. So for all the answers here, you can swap the order of the brackets. Now, the fourth one's got a negative in. Now, we approach this in the same way. Now, factors of 14 are either 1 times 14 or 7 times 2, but it's a minus 14. So one of the numbers in the factor pairs has got to be negative, and it's got to make a 5. However, if I make the 2 negative, then 7 times minus 2 is minus 14, but 7 take away 2 is positive 5. So 7 and minus 2 works. So the answer is x plus 7 and x minus 2. So when the number is negative, one of the numbers is positive and one of the numbers is negative. So if you look at 18, 18 is 9 times 2 or 3 times 6, etc. But it's negative. If I make the 2 negative, that works because 9 take away 2 makes 7. So the brackets are x plus 9 and x minus 2. This works well. Just be very, very careful about the last one before the few extension questions. This is negative 10, which is 1 times 10 or 5 times 2 or 2 times 5. However, it's negative 10. So if I put 2 times 5, then to get a negative 3, I've got to make the 5 negative, not the 2. Because 2 take away 5 is negative 3. If I put 5 and minus 2, that would make a positive 3. So it's 2 and minus 5. So the answer is x plus 2 and x minus 5. So that reviews the main skills in double bracket factorising. Four extension questions, which can cause a few problems. Now, the first one is this one here. x squared plus x minus 20. Now, when there's just an x here, that can confuse people. Now, the trick here is to imagine that as being 1x. And to look at the minus 20, I want factor pairs which have got a difference of 1. And if I did 5 lots of minus 4, then 5 and minus 4 have got a difference of 1, and 5 times minus 4 is minus 20. So the answer is x plus 5 and x minus 4. 
In a similar way, if I put x squared minus x minus 12, then again, there's an x by itself, that means minus 1x. So again, factor pairs of 12 that have got a difference of 1, or in this case minus 1. So if I put 3 times minus 4, they've got a difference of 1. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12, and 3 take away 4 is minus 1. So therefore the answer is x plus 3 and x minus 4. Okay, last special case, when there's no x term. So e.g. x squared minus 16. Now, these can be factorised easily when the number there is a square number. Now, this works because a factor pair of 16 is 4 and minus 4. And 4 take away 4 is nothing. In other words, the x term cancels out. So, if the factor pair is the same number, the x term cancels, so it becomes x plus 4 and x minus 4. And that works again when there's no x term and the number there is a square number. So for example, x squared minus 100. 100 is a square number, it's 10 times minus 10 in this case. 10 take away 10 is nothing, so the x terms cancel out, so it becomes x plus 10 and x minus 10. So they are the main factorizings when it's of the form x squared. Another video will look at when it's, for example, 3x squared or 5x squared, but these tricks and rules work when it's x squared plus an x term plus a number. Please do like and subscribe, and again, my videos are being compiled together on mathslearn.co.uk.